Hello, everyone. Sue Amashchuk here, continuing the workbook lessons of A Course in Miracles. And today, as we continue on with the lessons, um, in this section, we're going to begin with the, the uh, reading of What is the World? And here's what it says. It said the world says the world is false perception. It is born of error and it has not left its source. It will remain no longer than the thought that gave it birth is cherished. When a thought of separation has been changed to one of true forgiveness, will the world be seen in quite another light and one which leads to truth where all the world must disappear and its errors, errors vanish. Now its source has gone and its effects are gone as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the world was made as an attack on God. And it symbolizes fear. And what is fear except love's absence? You know, when we remain in the fear, we're remaining in the darkness not in the light. And, you know, we are putting the veil over the love that we are. And that's what it said is fear is, what it is, is uh, accept love's absence. I'm gonna read that again. It says, and what is fear except love's absence? We just cover up the love that we are. You know, it's the light that dispels the darkness. So thus the world was meant to be a place where God could not enter and where his son could be apart from him. Here was perception born, for knowledge could not cause such insane thoughts. Why would we change? Why would we continue to choose the darkness? When what's available to us is love. It's a question. It says, but eyes deceive and ears hear falsely. Now mistakes become quite possible, for certainty has gone. The mechanisms of illusion have been born instead. So we, leave, we live in the illusion rather than the truth of who we are. This is, and now they go to find what has been given them to seek. Their aim is to fulfill the purpose which the world was made to witness and make real. That's all the illusions. They see it in illusions, but a solid base where, where truth exists upheld apart from lies. Yet everything that they report is but illusion, which is a kept apart from truth. As sight was made to lead away from truth, it can be redirected. Sounds become the call for God, and all perception can be given a new purpose by the one whom God appointed Savior to the world. Follow his light and see the world as he beholds it. Hear his voice alone in all that speaks to you. And let him give you peace and certainty, which you have thrown away. But heaven has preserved for you in him. Let us not rest content until the world has joined our changed perception. And that's what a miracle is. A miracle is a shift in perception. And in any moment, we have that opportunity to experience the miracle. It said, let us not be satisfied until forgiveness has been made complete. 
and let us not attempt to change our function. We must save the world. For we made it for we who made it must behold it through the eyes of Christ. That what was made to die can be restored to everlasting life. So forgiveness is the key to happiness. And, you know, we, we save the world by saving ourselves. And by, you know, uh, again, recognizing that who we are, that we are love, that we are created in the image and likeness of God. And so are our brothers and sisters. So that is what is the world. And it's on page 413 of the of the workbook. So now I'm going to proceed with lesson 241, which is this holy instant is salvation come. I want to add here, the holy instant is available to us every moment to accept our true identity, our holiness, our innocence, our guiltlessness, our sinlessness. And that is to accept that along with our brother's holiness, innocence, guiltlessness, and sinlessness. To see the Christ and the love in all. So again, this is the whole, the, this holy instance is salvation come. When we are in recognizing that in the inst holy instant, it said, what joy there is today with an exclamation mark. It is a time of special celebration for today holds out the instant to the darkened world where its release is set. It says the day has come when sorrows pass away and pain is gone. The glory of salvation dawns today upon a world set free. This is the time of hope for countless millions. They will be united now as you forgive them all. Jesus says, for I will be forgiven by you today. As we forgive our brothers and sisters, remember we are all one. One in Christ. We have forgiven one another now. And so we come at last to you, Father, again. Father, your son, who never left, returns to heaven and his home. How glad we are to have our sanity restored to us and to remember that we are all one. So again, this lesson is about accepting who we truly are as God created us. God didn't create the ego, we did. So, so we are one with all creation. That's the holy instant. That's a holy instant which restores us or restores everything for us when we receive it. So, you know, we choose, we choose the illusion or the ego, our false identity, or we choose our truth. We choose our true identity with a capital I. We choose the holy instant. 
and that we choose that we are love and we are light. We're not this body. Remember the lesson, I'm not a body. I am free for I am still as God created me. So again, the body is only a communication vehicle. And it's to take our focus off the body to remember that we are love. We are light, as I've said. Because as we remain in the ego and in fear and in the darkness, we are hiding all of that. And we need only to turn on the light to dispel the darkness. And that is our practice as we continue to undo the ego, as we continue to move forward into what is available in every moment, which is the holy instant. As the lesson said, this holy instant is salvation come. We choose. And remember, choosing not to choose is a choice. All right, I'll leave it at that for today. Thank you for being here. And um, I look forward to being with you in the next video for lesson 242. All right, as always, please go below, press the like button, appreciate your comments. Simply, if you wish to send a heart or an emoji of sorts, it's, it's great for the algorithms. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And for those of you who have, thank you very much. The community continues to build. And for that, I am deeply thankful and grateful. All right. Until the next video, from my heart to yours, I extend much love to you. And as it says here at the beginning, what joy there is today. Go forward and experience joy in your life. Bye for now.